everyone. This is Pepper Pace, and I'm here with Little Sydney, which is the Precious Kit by Lori Sullivan Roy. And I wanted to uh, come on here for a little bit and talk about the Dolls of the World Expo that I, this is the first doll show that I ever went to. So I just want to give my little thoughts on it and uh, just tell you what to expect if you've never gone to a doll show like me, I'm a novice. But uh, anyway, I want you to see this cute little outfit that I won from the doll show. Isn't that cute? It's a little knit gray, heather gray outfit. And uh, there's a little bonnet with a little mouse on it. And uh, the person was the person who I wanted from was a vendor, so she actually was selling a little muslin blanket that came with it, and this little pacifier and the pacifier clip. So, of course, I had to put this little baby girl in there. But anyway, so that's part of what I want to talk about was. Um, transportation you know so we flew and I went with my sister so my sister is Miss Sunflower if you're not familiar with her she is also a doll artist and collector you will see her mostly on TikTok uh, she does make YouTube videos she actually she is more um, you know social than me so you'll find her on Facebook you will find her on Instagram, uh, mostly on TikTok, where she does a lot of lives. If you have never gone to a doll show before, one of the things that you may want to do is make sure that you join the doll group. So if there is a group, like a, uh, in this one, it was a Facebook group, that's where it's going to tell you some helpful information uh, so that you're not in the dark. Once we arrived at the hotel, anything that I didn't know it was easy to find out so um, I will say that that part was very very good only thing that you know I could say I wish was different was how hot it was but if you have 200 plus people uh, trying to fit into you know a conference room and it was a big conference room I'm not saying it was too small there just was not enough air circulation. So um, it, it was hot enough to where you were sweating. You were sweating. I sweat so hard that my fake fingernails came off. So that's some, that's some heavy duty um, sweating there. Um, but I meant to break out the vendor sheet, but I will show a picture of some of the things because I'm going to put a video on there. But um, First, let me just say, because I never say this, uh, if you like content about reborns and silicones and painting and art and crafting of reborn dolls, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you do like the channel um, and I hope you comment, you know, just that engagement helps the channel to grow. Well, anyway, what did I think about that we? Dolls of the World Expo. Thought it was amazing. Traveling to that we wasn't so great. Um, and the reason I say that is because, and I have traveled with uh, reborns and dolls before. Mostly um, I've traveled with a vinyl, I've traveled with a partial, I've even taken one on a cruise that you know needed to be put together and painted and rooted and that was not a problem because it went in a suitcase but this time I decided to carry um, little Miss Sydney in my arms like she was a little baby now keep in mind Sydney is nine pounds and she's just solid silicone so when you're sitting here sitting on the plane sitting in the chair that's not that hard but when you have to walk from the baggage claim, walk from one terminal to another, walk up the ramp carrying, you know, your backpack and the purse, trying to get in your seat. Oh, and we were on the tiniest plane ever made. So, um, yeah, that was 
a headache. And that part is something that I don't really want to do again. I don't, I'm not saying I don't want to travel with a, a full body silicone, but I don't want to have to hold her in my arms like this. That was for the birds anyway. Um, so I will say, did I have any problems at the airport other than the fact that I was just tired uh, carrying her? I had no problems at the airport. Carrying a full body silicone is a lot different than a vinyl or a partial. I put Sydney on a conveyor belt so that she can go through the x-ray machine. And I put her in a basket. She had her blankets on. They don't really unwrap the baby or take off their clothes or anything like that. And I've had to do it twice, one from Cincinnati and then one back from North Carolina too. When I was going back to Cincinnati, they never unwrapped her, never undressed her. But I did, I was polite. I said, this is a doll before I put her in the basket, you know, or the bin and sent her through the x-ray. And so then they were like, okay, okay. When a baby go through the x-ray, watch their faces because that's when they're like, uh, I think there's an issue. <laughs> <laughs> and that part can be kind of fun. I didn't film it. I didn't feel, film their reactions, but it was always a big reaction. So after the baby goes through the x-ray, it shoots off to be examined by another guard. So you're getting all of the rest of your items, your purse, your personal items, and then you have to wait for the guard to do a special examination. And basically all they're gonna do is a swab test. So they swab her, they get a little pad, looks like a little alcohol swab, and they swab the cheek, swab the palm. They didn't take off her clothes or anything. She was still wrapped up in the blanket, but they did swab her outfit. And then they have to place a, a drop of liquid on the swab. And then if it doesn't change colors, then it's fine. Then it's not something illegal or some substance that they are trying to identify that shouldn't be on your baby. And then um, in my case, they had to call a supervisor. Now they could have either called the supervisor because they just wanted to say, look how real this baby looks, or they could have called a supervisor for the reason he said he had to call a supervisor, which is that he had to have a witness for this. So the supervisor witnessed it, said everything was okay. I took my little baby and wrapped her up tightly, covered her face, and then went about my business to get to my gate. Um, one thing that I would like to do next time is I would like to wrap her in bubble wrap and put her in something that I can carry her in, like a suitcase. <laughs> and I'm not saying that, like I have um, checked a Reborn before. I've never checked a full body silicone before. So I'm not saying that I would necessarily feel comfortable checking her. So I don't want her getting lost or anything like that. I would have to treat her as carry on. But I think that if all I did was put her in a carry on something, it, it, it might be doable, but uh, we'll have to see. Because after I got to the hotel, I did say to myself, I don't ever want to do this again. This was just too much. But we got to the hotel and then like within 45 minutes, it was time for the slumber party. And the slumber party was from seven, well, from seven to nine. So it was two hours. Not everybody that went to the doll show attended the slumber party. Um, however, I'm going to say if you ever do dot we and if you can, if it's something that you can do, I would go. I would go to the slumber party. That was probably, to me, the most fun. I mean, I enjoy going and looking at the dolls, but yeah, that party was fun. So we all dressed up in our uh, little pajamas. 
because it was a pajama party, and majority of people, because the theme was Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh. And so we all dressed up in our Winnie the Pooh outfits. Some people had like these uh, full on uh, thick costumes, you know, with the ears and the head and stuff like that. But I'm gonna tell you, it was hot in there. So the hotel itself wasn't hot. Like our room was cold. Uh, but then when you got into the occupied areas, that's when it seemed like every warm person sucked the cold out of the air. So by the time you got into that room, it was starting to get warm. It wasn't like so hot that you were miserable, but if you were wearing a full on costume, you probably would have been miserable. So when we went into the slumber party, um, you can, you know, you just sat wherever you want. And we found um, some people that we knew sat with them and it was nice. But this is the thing. You don't have to know who you're sitting with because guess what? They're holding a baby. Most of the time they're bringing their baby and you're going to reach over there and be like, oh my gosh, she's so cute or he's so adorable. And then that from that, you have people, that's what they are there for. They're there to communicate with each other and to fellowship with each other and to have fun with each other and talk about their babies and show off their babies and that the grand the smile to feel that acceptance when you are holding your baby and nobody is making fun of you or looking at you crazy or wondering like even in the airport I did get a few people who looked at me like but I'm gonna tell you why not because um, they thought Sydney was a doll, but because I'd be so tired, I'm like, yeah. I'm walking out like this. And they looking at me like, and there was a couple of people that said, oh my gosh, is that a real baby? Because when I seen you put the baby on the chair and walk away, I was, was like, I know that's not a real baby. So going to the doll show, you're not getting any judgment. And that was the best part. So you do not have to go thinking that you have to know people. Because I never met any of these people. These are people that I know from social media, from YouTube, from TikTok, from Instagram. And then they come up to you and be like, I know you or I know that doll. And then you're like, hey, I remember you or I know you or How, what's your name? And it's, you know, something like that. But when you go into the, um, the slumber party, there was food, there was slight, uh, light snacks, tacos, pretzels, salsa, uh, there was desserts like cake, there was ice cream, there was soda pop, tea, lemonade, water. So you had um, foods to snack on for those two hours that you were there. But the best part is that you had to bring a gift for the gift exchange. Now, if you didn't bring one, you, you weren't gonna be involved in the gift exchange. But here's the thing. The gift exchange was so nice because most people like me, they said it had a $30, uh, at least a $30 value. But most people brought something that was a little bit more than $30. So, cause when I was looking at the $30 stuff, I was like, uh, like they say, bring something that you might want. So the first thing I, I bought was like some little cupcake t-shirts and then but my sister brought things like self-care stuff like mommy self-care like uh fuzzy socks and a mug and so i was like oh maybe that's what i would want that because i'm thinking like we have to brought, uh, bring baby clothes well most everybody did baby clothes and baby items and reborn items and bottles and stuff like that and that's how sydney got this cute little uh, knit outfit and I'm gonna show you the stuff that she got um, we'll put her in her um, carrier here um she got so much stuff y'all she got this cute little tech and honestly I don't know exact I can't remember exactly what Sydney got because uh, or what I got but they go on to Sydney uh, because while I was there, they had raffles. Like you didn't even have to really enter. It was just like, hey, your ticket, your, you know, you got this ticket on your seat, whatever. And so one of those raffles, I won. 
So I got another gift. So they're all combined together. So I'll just show you what I got. So I got this little teddy bear, which is super soft. And this actually was the gift exchange bag, but not everything in this bag was part of the gift. Like for instance, these diapers were part of the gift exchange along with that outfit. And then we got this um, wave baby wafer, which smells so good, made everything smell good. I don't know what this diaper is. It doesn't have any writing on it, but I love it. It's so cute. So we got this. In addition, I think the the person who gifted me the bag was thinking like, well, what if this uh, she only has a little tiny baby? And I got little creamy babies. So she also, I know it's a she because I got a card that told me that if I wanted to come to, she was a vendor and that she was number one, um, that was her site. And if I wanted to come, she would give me a discount on anything that I purchased. So she was very sweet. Cause I went to her uh, place to thank her for and to let her know that I was the one who received her beautiful gift. So this has got an elephant and it's uh, kind of like a white and gray, it's white and gray stripes. And it kind of reminds you of like t-shirt material. And this one says, happy little, and love and loved it's so cute so luckily i got some little little ones um also i got she makes these these are uh knit food so this would be like a little cupcake and it's really cute and I got, I told you the pacifier and the um, pacifier holder. And then this, which is really cute too. I'm gonna hang this on something. It's gonna be really cute. All right, so that was the exchange. Um, okay, so also I also wanna show you some of this stuff that I bought, cause I know that's what y'all wanna know, right? Y'all wanna know, did I buy something? did buy something I bought did you buy a kit pepper that's what we want to know I did I went to Captain Romero Biscuities um, area and I bought this little tiny silicone head do we know what the name of the head is no we don't because for these little heads Kathy um, did not have a little COA card. So this is the little head that I bought that I will be painting at some point. And um, I can contact her if I want to get the COA and she says she'll drop it in the mail for me. So I did get that and y'all, that only cost me 65 bucks. So, all right. Oh y'all, let me show y'all this. I bought this. Look at this bottle. Isn't this cute? This is a glass bottle. And look at this pacifier. I mean, uh, nipple. Um, and the nipple is already uh, plugged with the silicone. So I was like, I really think I want to get this old fashioned bottle for myself as a prop. And I didn't even know it was gonna come with this milk. So here it is the imitation milk. Isn't that cute? I'm going to keep the milk in here and then I'm just gonna mix my own formula up in here. So I like that. Um, that. Okay, so these are nipples, silicone nipples that do not have holes in them. So they're completely, you don't even have to plug them. And I got 10 of these because they were a dollar each. So I got 10 of those. All right. And then, yeah. And also when you're going to the show, some people give you just free stuff for no reason. So we're just walking, me and my sister just walking along. Somebody say, hey, here's some, a free gift for you. And I'm like, free? We're like, okay, we like free. 
and it was some soap. Y'all, it's shaped like a bear. <laughs> Look at it. It's got a little applique. I don't know what that is, but it, well, it's like a wax, you know, where they put a wax stamp. And it's a little bear head. And I believe it's honey. Oh, yeah. So it's from CART, C A R T E, Reborn Baby. So here, let me put this card up here where you can see it. CART, Reborn Babies. And it came with this little bear. This smells good. I think um, it's got, um, you could, if I took the plastic off, you can see the imprint of the Winnie the Pooh. I believe it's honey. And guess what else came with it? Oh my gosh, y'all. This Winnie the Pooh keychain. Yeah, this is so adorable. And you know, they just, somebody, we were just walking by and they just said, here, here you go. So there's that. Also, I got another gift for free. I met a lady named Jewel, and Jewel uh, makes products to help uh, maintain your silicone baby. And she made a fragrance that you spray on yourself so that when you're handling your baby, your baby smells good. You can put on your baby's clothes too. Um, and then she made this, um, Lip, it's like it looks like a lip gloss, but you actually it's a silicone that you put inside the baby's mouth to help the you know you know how I do it you know how I put like the the gel, the silicone gel in the baby's mouth to make it slick enough so that it can accept a pacifier or a nipple without uh, messing up the paint and stuff. Well, she has a little applicator tip like a lipstick applicator, so you can put it in the mouth a lot easier. So we were talking for a while, never met her. She may have known us from watching our channels, our various channels. And so after we talked for a while, she just gave us this as a gift. Uh, her name was Jewel. And she, girl, look, I'm gonna tell y'all, when I tell you, you go to her, this is rose gold. She blings your stuff out. So her perfume bottle is all blinged out like that. It's so cute. But y'all, this is silicone matting powder, and this is her own formula. So the next baby I do, which is that uh, little silicone head, I'm going to be using um, Jules. And Jules works closely with a lady named Rochelle Farrell. I don't know if it's Rachel or Rachel. So she said, do you know who that lady is, Rachel Farrell? And I said, I don't know her, I'm new, because I've only been doing this for two, uh, two years. She said, she is the person who made the original doll bodies. So I'm like, wow. And that lady was so, so nice. But anyway, here is uh, Jules' card. So please check her out if you want some um and when i tell you the prices is good the prices are good so yeah i'm definitely going to get more stuff of course i only had a backpack because i didn't carry a suitcase so that's the, one of the reasons why i was like and eh, you can't buy too much this was enough okay um i found some hair so as you know, I love my little ginger hair. And so this is Sip Effects. So this is the same hair that is on the little Phoenix kit that I did. And that sold to her, uh, was adopted by his new mama. And that's what's on Sydney around the front of her hair, uh, the curly hair. So this is dark carrot. Yeah, I'm looking at her. Okay, so, and then also, oh, I forgot to tell you. This is from Silk Effects, and this is, uh, you know what? It doesn't say whether it's yearling or anything like that, but it's very soft, so it's whatever they, that really young one is. This one is, um, this is yearling. 
and this is a full ounce. But still, I paid for these two less than 50 bucks. Um, I also went someplace where it's probably one of the same places where I got actually, I found a little tongue that I wanted. So I was like, you know what? Let me get this little tongue. And the tongue didn't even cost hardly that much. So I got this little silicone tongue. And uh, the person who sold it to me couldn't find a little bag. So she gave me a free drool drop. Which was so sweet of her to do that, to give me a free drool. drool. I am saying drool, y'all. Oh, you know what? Let's put this on Sydney so that we can see how this looks. All right, Sydney. There's Sydney sticking her tongue out at everybody. Sydney, you're being so rude. <laughs> Look at her, she's so cute. So yeah, that is um, the little tongue. That's my tongue, nobody gets it, sorry. It's just for me. One other thing that I purchased was another kit. Not a kit as in uh, sil the silicone doll that is goes by the name kit, but I purchased a vinyl kit. Here, let me show you. First of all, look at that head. Look at that head. Look at that precious face. Now you know that is going to be and ah, the silicone is going to be great to paint. This is Marita Winters Dolls. And this is the, I love the name. It's Junie Rose. Uh, let's see, make sure there's no glare on it. This is the Junie Rose Certificate Authentic Authenticity number 89. Uh, so adorable and it came with the entire body too so um, you know what I saw at the doll show that I really love I saw a lot of oh you know what I forgot when I got um, little precious outfit um, I got this conditioner and a brush but yeah, I was using the brush. So the brush is in the suitcase. So um, I saw a lot of dolly daddies and that was so awesome. You know, especially if they were dressed up like in the pool um, and then they were holding the babies because sometimes when babies got heavy, um, but there were a lot of people who offered and said, oh, you know what? My husband is so supportive. My boyfriend is so, great with the babies or my boyfriend does not understand my love for them but they love me and so because they love me they support my love of this you know hobby or this craft or whatever you want to call it so I did notice that um would I go to dot we again well I'm definitely going again I made up my mind that I was going to go right after I uh, left the slumber party with all my loot <laughs> and had so many people just, you know, talk about how much they love the real red hair babies and seeing so many beautiful babies giving me inspiration. I wasn't that tempted to buy any because I just knew I didn't have room. What I went there for was to be inspired. And yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, well, yeah, I was tempted. I did see, um, I saw a baby by Claudio Minter that I wanted. And I saw a few uh, avatar babies. One of them didn't have a tail though. And I want 
I, I, I knew that if I saw an avatar baby that was just right for me, that was the size of my little precious kit, then I was going to get it. But I didn't see it, so yay for me. Um, I saw some um, people who were like sculptors and you know, obviously when you go to their little area where they're selling, um, like Joanne Kazmir Kazmierczyk and, um, you know, Silicon Studio, Lori Sullivan Roy, I saw her, I got to take pictures with her and she held Precious because you know, that's my favorite, that's my baby right now. Um, so seeing your favorite doll artist, uh, seeing people that you see on social media, uh, seeing, putting a face to names um, that you hear about, especially for me, because I'm so new. I've only been in this, you know, doing this for two years, a little over two years. So I don't re really recognize people. You walk right past somebody talking to somebody, you don't even know that they may have been the one who created you know, this thing that you're using, that was just, um, yeah, it, it, it's very humbling. I got, I got to feel my first heat set vinyl doll uh, because I use air dry. So I always wonder when they say things like, oh, you get this texture and you get this and it feels so good and it feels so realistic. So I was just, can I touch your baby? <laughs> and I was touching it. And um, just seeing how they weight the toddlers. That's how I weight my toddlers. I want you to be able to hold my toddlers and not break your back and break your arm off. But just seeing the exquisite painting job, the shading. Uh, I looked, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, I saw this little baby vinyl doll that was modeled so beautifully that I just sat and I stood there and stared at that baby for so long. It's just um, things, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see me. I have upped the ante on my artwork and I am very excited to start to create some more um, items. To, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really be thinking so much about to sell and I don't really think so much about to put in the nursery. I'm thinking more to test my own ability to push myself to get better and better and better. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here because this is kind of a long video, much longer than I wanted it to be. I just wanted it to be something kind of short. And I appreciate the follows. I appreciate the likes. I appreciated the people who came up to me and said they recognized me or they were inspired by watching me do something that I was just learning myself, but that I wanted to share because, you know, I just don't want to be a gatekeeper. You know, I want to share the art. So anyway, thank you guys and I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.